Hey everyone, my name's Ree, and we are here. This is going to be week number three of the APA Academy, and we're up against Archop the God, and uh, we played him a few times now. Uh, we've been in a few leagues with him. Uh, we started in the, out in the ICBA, and then uh, we played him twice in the PCL. Uh, he's made a lot about the fact that we are 3-0 against him. He is looking for his first win against me, so I know he is for sure really trying to beat me right now. This matchup is just super interesting, but uh, I think we're just going to see what this matchup is like. Uh, I'm going to take the screenshot, but we're going to see the Landorus Incarnate. Uh, it has to be Sandforce, the Mega Absol, Alola Ninetales, Electros, Mimikyu, and the Coma O. Okay. So right off the bat, no Mew. No Mew is wild. Wow, no Mew is kind of wild. Okay, no Mew. No Empoleon. No Empoleon's huge. Uh, no Chandelure. That's interesting, but fair enough. No Verizian. And no Masquerade. So no Webs. But no... A lot of things that you didn't bring. I guess this is probably the best 6 you could have brought against me. But still an interesting 6 to bring against me. Um, Part of me just wants to lead off with... Part of me honestly just wants to lead off with... um. The Greninja. Greninja theoretically outspeeds his entire team outside of any Scarfers. Uh, actually, his most likely Scarfer would be the Landorus. But I guess we're just going to have to see. Um, Part of me also just wants to lead off with the Jolteon as well. Um, hmm. I really do want to lead off with the Greninja. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. So, uh, I actually changed last second to a Dark EMZ Greninja because uh, I was pretty scared of the Mew and it did some work against stuff like the Chandelure um, and just dealt a lot of damage to the Electros, things like that. But um, I was Expert Belt in an earlier draft of this, just, the, just uh, earlier today, but I did switch it up with the Dark EMZ. It does lead off with the Absol, so maybe me expecting me to want to lead off with Hazards or something like that. Uh, it for sure can Sucker Punch me, but I'm not too, too concerned about that. I don't know how concerned I should be about that. Um, I guess I should see, but I'm not concerned about that too, too much. This is an all-out attacker. I feel like a U-turn is just pretty free here. Uh, U-turn actually deals a very decent amount of damage. And, yeah, Sucker Punch is not doing enough that I think I should be concerned here. Honestly, Sucker Punch makes me want to click Spikes, if I'm being real honest. If I'm being real honest, it just makes me want to click Spikes. But, what else would you want to click? I'm not too, too sure. What do you want to go into? Maybe the Electros? Maybe the Electros? I'm going to click U-Turn. I feel like Sucker Punch is not enough of a deterrent for me not to want to click it. And, um, oh, another thing, actually, this, I, I don't think I fully sped crept an, an Absol. I think I might have uh, just sped crept an Absol that is also speed creeping, um, that is also speed creeping a, a, um, Tauros. So, I guess I was correct. He's only, he only has enough speed for my Tauros, apparently. I think, see, my instinct is to go into the Gramble, but uh, the fact that um, he didn't click Sucker Punch makes me think that he's just going for the knockoff, and I don't want to get knocked off this early in the match. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, is there a Mon that I could feasibly give up my item on the earliest here? Maybe Jolteon. I feel like Jolteon is just Life Orb, is that right? Jolteon is in fact life orb. I think I think I can deal with Gramble here. I think I can deal with Gramble here. And goes for the play rough straight up as we avoid. I don't think that mattered a whole heck of a lot, but um it certainly could have mattered, let's say. If we give this thing play rough. Yeah, play rough was never gonna do a whole heck of a lot. If anything, I should have been a lot more worried about the about the uh knockoff there, because that would have hurt me for the longer run of the match. Now I really want to click toxic directly into this thing. But if it stays in and goes for something, that would be pretty bad. I mean at worst it can hit me with iron tail, I guess. 
Uh, man, Toxic would be honestly really bad if I just click Toxic right now. I think I really want to click it, though. I really want to click it. There's no way he clicks knockoff. In the yeah, play rough, play rough threatens him too much. There's no way. He's going to switch. He has to switch. There we go. There we go. Um, I only did it because I expected... Okay. I only did that because I expected the Electros to come in. And getting a Toxic off early on the Electros would have been insanely huge. But, okay. That's fair. I don't know what he's in here to do. Maybe just set up an Aurora Veil? Maybe just set up an Aurora Veil? But regardless... Hmm. Regardless, yeah, I think I'll just go into my Tauros here. I think I just go into the Tauros here. Sets up a sub. That is super interesting. That is super interesting. But I can pretty, yeah. I can pretty freely just click Iron Head. Now, this is another situation. I don't think that he would have max spe speed his um, Alola Ninetales. I think he would have just bed crept my Delphox. So, this Tauros is speed creeping something that is also speed creeping my Delphox. And there we go. It looks like uh, we got that one as well. Or it could just be a reasonably slow uh, Alola Ninetales. It does set up the Aurora Veil. But I think he, by subbing up, he put himself in a position where Iron Head does... A whole heck of a lot, even still. I think... I think Iron Head might still do it. I don't get to gauge damage, but... Uh, assuming no bulk Ninetales... Yeah, it says Iron Head does like 200%. So Iron Head should still do a whole heck of a bunch of damage. I feel like I just click it. I feel like I just click it. I don't know. This could be a huge mistake. He could just go into... He could be going into the coma O. Yeah, there's the coma O. There's the coma O. He might set up a dragon dance now. I'm gonna go into the Gramble. This could be a mistake. He could have he could be like Dragon Dance Poison Z, which would be unfortunate, but I don't know. If he does I I honestly might just double into the Landorus and try to double intimidate as he goes for me a possible poison Z. Let's see. Let's see what he does. There's the intimidate. Click stealth rock. Okay. He is burning turns of Aurora Veil. Vale. And I feel like I'm not as worried if, if he doesn't click Dragon Dance. Uh, I feel like I would want to... I would just want to click Play Rough here. I'm going to go for the Play Rough here. I don't think even Poison Z takes me out. Especially not at minus one. Especially not at minus one. I don't have anything, yeah, I don't have anything that's too, too worried about the rocks. Um, I would like to defog them regardless with my scissor. Scissor is the only thing I have. I have here that, uh, can get a defog off, but, yeah, I don't think I'm too worried about get him just getting rocks up here. I mean, obviously, it's not gonna be great for the makeup of the match, but... Just keeping this Gramble up and being able to chip away at his team in general. I think this is where I want to be. I think this is just where I want to be. There's the play rough. Probably not going to do too, too much, but uh, we do enough. Um, 
this is possibly light clay. I don't think we've seen any type of item. I think for right now, we have to assume light clay. Um... I don't know what I would do. I don't want to risk this thing too, too early in this match. I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to just go into, I'm going to just go into my scissor here. I think no matter what, going into scissor and clicking U-turn is going to be the best option. I don't think he's in, in any position, even behind Aurora Veil, to risk going for the HP fire. Risk me, um... Risk me not b clicking bullet punch and going for the HP fire. I don't think there's any way that he would want to risk that. I mean, if he does make that play, that would be pretty wild. Is there any real downside to me clicking bullet punch here? Let me see. Scissor against an old nine tails. Yeah, there's no way that this thing takes it. Uh, w behind Aurora Veil or not? Maybe I just click um, bullet punch. Maybe I just click bullet punch here. But I really do want to click U-turn. I'm gonna click U-turn. He does switch out. Okay. I didn't. Yeah, I, I really didn't see him making that play to want to switch out. Like, to make it, to make him want to stay in and click uh, HP fire like that. We do get the U-turn off, and we do get to bring in the Grand Bull here. I think no matter what, uh, we can pressure this thing, and we can pressure this thing, and we can wear down certain mons. Like, the Absol's already pretty worn down. The, um, the, uh, Ninetales is already, is already pretty worn down. Yeah, it feels like there's no reason not to click Play Rough. And also, um, just another mental note. I believe... Oh no! Aurora Veil is gone. I believe Aurora Veil is gone. Oh no, no it's not. No it's not. I forgot, I, I did this in VGC once. You have to click on their side on the bottom screen in order to see the, the turns of Aurora Bill. I, click, I kept clicking my side, and uh, that's why it wasn't showing up for me, but no. Uh, I have to click on their side to see the Aurora Bill. So, um, that cost me a VGC match once by not doing that. Clicks Toxic and lets me get a play rough off. That is interesting. That is interesting. Uh, yeah, we don't quite KO, but I don't think it matters here. I am going to predict him to want to switch out here, and I'm going to click Heal Bell straight up. This also should be the last turn of Hail, if I'm not mistaken. This should be the last turn of Hail, if I'm not mistaken. No, I think I think next turn might be. Uh, yeah, this should be the last turn of Hail. I'm going to assume he wants to switch out, and I'm going to click Heal Bell here. Um, if he does what he's been doing and wants to switch back into the Alola Ninetales, then the Hail's going to run out, which is... interesting. So maybe he doesn't, but I don't think he stays in here. I don't think he stays in here, because I take whatever he wants to go for here. What would he want to... I mean, Electros is... 100% an option still, I think. Electros is still entirely an option. I don't think he wants to give up the, the disguise on the Mimikyu this early. Oh, okay. There's the heal bell. And that should be... This should be the end of... Well, it's obviously the end of the hail. And I believe this is going to be the last turn of Aurora Veil. Okay, Aurora Veil does wear off this turn. Okay, fair enough. So 
So yeah, even if he wants to click Poison Jab, uh, I do have a very free free play rough here. If he wants to Toxic me again, then that's fine. He does want to talk to me again. So giving up the Coma O for the Toxic. However, this will open up the door for me to be able to... To be able to... Um, defog later with the Scizor. And if I'm in a position later on in the match um, to try to scare out like an, an Alola Ninetales or something like that, and I do, and I am given a free turn to be able to defog there, then that would be pretty important for me. Overall, it just helps out my Greninja because, uh, well, I'm not too, too worried about like his Sucker Punch like from before. I am a little bit worried about things like Hail and Sucker Punch just kind of chipping away my Greninja. Uh, especially if I don't get the chance to get off a decently fat, um, a decently fat, uh, Dark Z. What is it? Black Hole Eclipse? Um, I think I want to stain and click Toxic. I think there's. I think I don't want to do anything but click toxic here. Um, I don't. Yeah, I don't see myself. At worst, he clicks EQ. All right. At worst, he clicks EQ or Earth Power or whatever. Oh, possibly Sludge Wave as well. Possibly Sludge Wave as well. Is that a reason to want to go into Scizor? Is that a reason to want to go into Scizor? It might be. It might be. Maybe it's a reason to go into Landorus? Maybe it's a reason to go into Landorus. I think it might be. I think no matter what, there's no way that this thing goes for for an HP Ice or anything like that on this specific turn, which will allow me to pivot around. Uh, I am a Scarf Landorus. Uh, so I will be able to pivot around. Does go for a U-turn. That's interesting. That is interesting. I'm interested so far. Um, Would probably want to go into the Alola Ninetales, but actually no, Alola Ninetales doesn't matter because I'm Scarfed. I for sure outspeed it. I can go for an EQ. He's going to know that I'm Scarf. He's going to want to go into the Electros. And then that'll let me do something. At, at that point, I can, I'm can. i in a bet, I'm in a much better position to sack Ramble. Goes into the Absol. Okay. I don't think... I can just U-turn here. I don't... I don't think I want to do anything but click U-turn here. Now he knows that I'm Scarfed. Now he for sure knows that I'm Scarfed. But... What do I go into now? What do I go into now? If I go into Scizor, right? If I go into Scizor... Oh, oh, by the way, that Landorus is for sure Scarfed. That Landorus is for sure Scarfed. Um... I think Scizor... Scizor would prevent the would prevent the Mimikyu or the or the Ninetales from wanting to come in. It might if anything, it might bait in the Electros. If anything, it would want to bait in the Electros probably. But if it does, then at that point I can probably sack Granbull, I think. I think sacking Granbull might be the best play in that situation. I think that's going to be what I do.
No, no, I don't think you would want to bring in the Electros because the Electros would give me a free U-turn. The Electros would give me a free U-turn here. Even if he does threaten Flamethrower, maybe that's worth it to him? I don't know. Scooter, I don't know what this is. It is the Electros. Okay, I know what it's like to use an Electros, and I really don't think that he sped crept um, that he put in enough speed to speed creep this thing. So, I I really don't want to, is it, would it be worth it if I defogged here and ate the flamethrower? No, it never is because of the Alola Ninetales and because of the Mimikyu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so I for sure just click U-turn here. I for sure just click U-turn here. This That's an adamant max attack U-turn. Wow, that did uh, honestly more than I ex would have expected it to. And I think that just lets me go into Gramble. I probably eat a, a fire hit. I could also go into Jolteon now. I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. But this does show me. This does show me that a little bit more chip onto this thing. And my Scizor can take it out with a U-turn later on in the match. So that is very good to know. That is very good to know. And this might be the opportunity right now to get that chip off. Because um, I can get a play, I can get a play rough off possibly. Um, that roll doesn't look super great for me. That damage roll doesn't look super great for me. Hmm. See, do I need this thing? I mean, I probably don't. I'm going to click play rough here. Goes for a Volt Switch. So that's interesting. Does take me out, but I will get to... Um, see whatever he wants to bring in. I will get to see whatever he wants to bring in here. Okay, if Kurt is a Landorus... And I believe that this thing is scarfed. I wonder. No, Earth Power does too much damage. Hmm. This thing might beat me, although this does assume life orbed. Oh, and. Sheer Force isn't allowed, so the... Okay, maybe... Maybe this thing is what I go into. Maybe this thing is what I go into. Because if I can take a hit and I can catch him off guard with an Ice Beam, then... That might be... My best play here. Hmm... Ice Beam does threaten a KO, but it's a lot more certain after rocks. Does withdraw. Does withdraw to go into this thing. Well, now I, I feel like... I feel like... Body Slam might... It might be in range of Body Slam, but let me see here. Because I, I have to be super sure about this before I do this. Um, I saw Electros earlier. I saw how much Scizor did do it. Scizor did about 40-ish percent with 40 to 45 with um, U-Turn. And that is about the correct damage for just max HP. So, so it might be max special defense, if anything. It might be me to take the, on the Greninja. So, if that's true... Oh, also... 
Also, that confirms Scarf on the lander is, because it U-turned before my Tauros, yeah. Okay. So, knowing that, if I move over to Tauros, oh, Body Slam destroys this thing. Body Slam destroys this thing. This thing doesn't have a chance to take this Body Slam. So, yeah, it was probably specially defensive. It probably is meant to... If anything, it's probably meant to switch into my Jolteon, now that I'm thinking about it. Does bring this thing in. I think he thinks he needed that damage. So, what I think I do... I feel like I possibly just go into my own Landorus. I think I possibly just go into my own Landorus. Let's see what that does for me. Uh, I'm still pretty convinced that this thing is Scarfed. If it's not Scarfed, then I'm pretty positive that I win this game a whole lot easier. But, um... Let me see what he goes for. Goes for the EQ, yeah. That, yeah, that's exactly what I expected. I think he, I think he thought that, that, um, that he would put me in a position to, to want to stay in, and yeah, that was never a play that I would want to make. So if I'm right that this thing is scarred, then he switches out and I click U-turn no matter what. I think, yeah, I think no matter what, I just click U-turn here. I think no matter what, I just click U-turn here. And what that allows me to do is go into, is go into Scizor. Because now I'm putting myself in a position where I have to kind of play for the end game. And I think all that I do... I think I just clicked Defog here. No, maybe I'm not in a position yet to click Defog. Maybe I'm not in a position yet to click Defog. I think I might have to click Bullet Punch here. See, this freaks me out because last time we did this, last time we did this, he saw me stay in and click U-turn. So, do, what do you think that I would want to stay in and U-turn again? I don't want to U-turn. I just want to click Defog here. I think I have to click Bullet Punch. I think I have to. I'm going to click Bullet Punch. Just stay in. Yeah. Okay. That's exactly what I knew would happen. Okay. I'm relieved. I'm so relieved. That was a crit. It's fine. I know I would have given him an, an Aurora Veil if I did anything else in that situation. Oh my god, that's a relief. If not, if not a free HP fire. That is such a relief. That is such a relief. And now he has to bring this thing in, yeah. Let me see here. Landorus. A Landorus with Earthquake. I don't think he's in a position of Earthquake, though. Is the thing. Against my Scizor. Oh, my Scizor is defensive enough where I might take... Oh, th that's, that's especially offensive Landorus. Wow, even even offensive scissor looks like a roll. I feel like I have to click roost. I feel like I have to click roost. Goes for the knockoff. Ooh, that is even better. That is even better. 
because now now he's now he's locked into now he's locked into knockoff and i feel like he has to switch right now i feel like he has to switch right now which means that if i u-turn now it, it would bring in the mimic queue and then scarf landers can eq potentially take that out I, I mean i guess i should i guess i should know for sure I mean, worst case scenario, I you turn into the Greninja. You turn into the Greninja, and then I you turn into the Greninja, and then I Z Dark Pulse, and then I don't know. I have to give it the Greninja at that point. Not ideal, but you know what? What am I gonna do, right? Let me see. Um, my. Land no, what it my lander is, yeah. Lander's EQ threatens it KO onto Mimic Q, but not quite. So I think the better play would have to be to go into Greninja here. Uh and I am curious to see what Z Dark Pulse does. Z Dark Pulse does slightly less damage, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I have to click U turn. So it goes for another knockoff. That's super interesting. But what I can do here... I can get an Intimidate off with my own Landorus. I can get an Intimidate off with my own Landorus. And I can double into my Scizor. And get another Roost up. Yeah, he would have switched out first if he had tried to switch out there. Oh no. Rocks. Ugh. Oh, hail stops. Okay. I still don't think I take a hit, which is unfortunate. Yeah, I think I screwed myself over. I didn't realize how low my scissor was. I didn't realize how low my scissor was. I did not realize how low my scissor was. I think I just bullet punch for damage here. Give this thing up. Go into Greninja. Let him knock off my Greninja because it doesn't have an item anyway. Actually, no, 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 no. What I can do now is go into... My Jolteon. And I can click HP Ice. And now he's going to go into Mimikyu. I click Volt Switch here. Which, uh, he's going to try to Source Dance, but that's going to allow me to go into Micro Ninja. Yeah. And then my Greninja is going to be able to uh, Dark Z on this thing. There's the Volt Switch. As he tries to Swords Dance, I assume. If he does go for a play rough, that would be insane. Actually, no. The better play would have to be to go into my Landers right now, just to get the Intimidate off. But, no matter what, I think... Yeah, Tauros has this game cleaned up because he can't Shadow Sneak my Tauros, and... Um... Tauros outspeeds, goes for Iron Head, and uh, that's always a KO. That is always a KO. But, I'm gonna attempt to get the Scarfed... Um... This Scarfed... EQ off, maybe it KOs, but actually, I think I just misplayed because I knew he was going to Source Dance, and I didn't go into my Tauros like I should have. If I just gone to my Tauros, then uh, this game would have been locked up as soon as he clicked Source Dance. He would have had to have clicked Play Rough, 
Um, and if he had taken out my Tauros then, then I absolutely lose, but, uh... And there's the EQ. Unfortunately, this thing had to be... Um... This thing had to be adamant. No, this thing had to be jolly in order for me to, um, outspeed certain things. This thing is crept for a coma o uh, so that if the coma o got to plus one, then my scarfed, um, then my scarfed Landorus, uh, goes over the top. And now, um, this should be it. He can't, he doesn't have any priority. I know I outspeed this thing. At least I should. At least I've seen, yeah, with, with other mons. I could just click Iron Head, and I think that's going to be another 3-0 win. Uh, this was a really fun one. Like I said, he had a very, very scary team. Uh, a lot of different options against my team. I really, I really, really underestimated his, a Scarf Landorus on his side. I should have 100% brought a better answer to that. Um, in my head, he would have, in my head, he, he would have played for other things like the Coma O. Um, and try to set up with that and not, it was never in my head immediately that he would try to bring that Scarf Landorus, but that was so scary. I had to play so hard around that. I, I gave up Mons to that, right? Like I gave up my Scizor just to try to manage it. But in the end, I had the resources. I was able to play around, uh, whatever he had, but, uh, that's going to be it for week three, I guess. We'll be back really, really soon with week four. And week four is going to be the final week with this team. We're going to have a brand new team really, really soon. Our draft is almost over by the time this is being done. But uh, it's going to be a really fun team. This was been, been a really fun team. I was really apprehensive about some of the mons on here, how low tier I had to go. And, uh, oh my god, this next, this next draft is going to be even more low tier. It's going to be even more uh, crazy and, I think, interesting. But I think it's going to work out. I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And um, with that, once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be once again out.